I'm Kim, I'm from Edinburgh. I'm Uli, I'm also from Edinburgh. Bastian from Germany. And Natalie, also from Germany. I'm Nele, Belgium. And I'm Dries, also from Belgium. And uh, yeah, we're here with Slow Tours to make a bike trip. <laughs> Noi qui a Montecatini abbiamo messo in rete a sistema l'offerta cicloturistica che c'è sul nostro territorio, che è ampia e vasta. Il nostro territorio che si può visitare in bicicletta sia con la mountain bike sia con la bicicletta da corsa. Abbiamo tante belle cose da vedere e, e alberghi che hanno le, 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 le condizioni di poter ospitare i ciclisti con tutti i comfort del caso. Well, we are really excited and um, hoping for good weather and having fun on the bikes. <laughs> Monte Carlo is a, a little jewel because it's a very small town, uh, very nice, uh, and uh, it is famous uh, today for uh, the wine. I'll call you uh, to visit the theater. Vi porterò a vedere il, il teatro dei rassicurati. E questo teatro è il secondo più piccolo teatro in Europa. Il primo lo trovi in Budapest. Abbiamo una piccola branch con il vino di wine di uh, Monte Carlo. Andiamo sempre. Torniamo tre chili in più a casa. Eh? Rosy, Rosy. <laughs> it's too big. It's a very important tree because uh, it is called the witch's oak uh, because the, the legend tell us, tells us that uh, this, uh, on this tree during the Middle Age uh, witches dance, uh, danced on, uh, on the branches and uh, so the branches uh, are now parallel to the ground as you can see. It is around 600 years old, second oldest tree in, uh, in Tuscany. It is famous because in, inside the, the novel of Pinocchio uh, this is the tree where Pinocchio was hanged by the assassin. Uh... A little bit exhausting, <laughs> but good. I'm not a trained mountain biker, but I managed. I think it's a wonderful route. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> Last one was hilly enough with 18%. It was a uh, quite a quite a climb. Have there been any hills? I haven't noticed. This. <laughs> <laughs> we have to give you more wine <laughs> to slow you down. <laughs> this part is named Il Castello, ah, okay. the castle. Mm -hmm. In the highest part of the village of San Gennaro, this is a very famous and important church because it is the older church of San Gennaro, but this is important because inside uh, we have uh, a, a statue of Leonardo da Vinci. Ready for, for the next hill. <laughs> We have to have more hills. <laughs> <laughs> Il 
body is mainly uh, Pinocchio's homeland because uh, the author of Pinocchio, Carlo Lorenzini, chose to call himself Carlo Collodi uh, from the name of this place, which was the birthplace of his mother. Uh, we're going to the butterfly garden so we can stand between the butterflies and uh, enjoy the colors. I think it will be great. <laughs> Now we go to the Via della Fiaba. The Via della Fiaba starts in this place and uh, go around the Parco di Villa Garzoni. Now we are, uh, we are at the end of the Via della Fiaba, the fairy tales road that connect, uh, uh, connects uh, uh, Pescia to the uh, Collodi, Collodi the, the park of Pinocchio, the Villa Garzoni. Via della Fiaba is a very, very interesting and very beautiful uh, road because uh, you can cross the typical Tuscany landscape. It was a great trip and now we're going to the spa. Are you happy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alle terme di Montecatini c'è la possibilità di usufruire di tutti i trattamenti classici terapeutici termali e la possibilità di passare delle ore in rilassamento alla piscina termale e usufruire di tutti i trattamenti e massaggi benessere olistici che mirano a riequilibrare in modo naturale e eh, termale la persona lavorando sull'aspetto sia fisico che energetico.